Alright, welcome back to TechRab Industry. This is the second take of this video doing it on the uh, in the new apartment. Today I'm gonna be showing you all I carry with me on with my bag and stuff. So is my choice of headphones, which are the Galaxy Buds Plus. I've been trying to do videos on these things, but <laughs> Hard to do videos when your stuff, when your computer gets stolen and some scumbag steals your parents' meds. <laughs> yeah. So next thing I keep with me is a long the lines of the Galaxy BTW. This being saw on Galaxy A20 is my watch. The Galaxy watch. Uh, this is the Galaxy watch. Mm -hmm. I think it way has a plus or series number. Next it brings me to the bag. The bag I'm currently using is a New York style bag by a company I don't remember the name of. So for the mouse I use a Microsoft Optical Mouse 200. Um, it's a white mouse, <laughs> but it does do the job. Keyboard wise, I use the Anchor. What is this? Um, the Anchor Swim keyboard. Um, it's one I picked up at Walmart for like twenty bucks. Containing the Samsung, then I have uh, containing the. Samsung ecosystem, I have a Samsung wireless soldier, uh, 9 watts, uh, I believe fast soldier. I could be wrong. Um, I, ca I keep at least two, uh, USB type C cords and these convenient travel adapters, 15 watt travel adapters. Fast charging travel adapters by Samsung with me. That normally gets my watts, my phone, and my buds all sold. But I keep at least two to, two to three with me. Um, the cords I'm using is this is a Samsung Type C cord, and this is just an off brand cord I picked up, I think, Walmart. This is also my other Samsung cord with the fast swords. Here I have a iPad AU that I've been working on for a friend of mine, um, but I, he basically doesn't want back, so technically mine. Next, we just to my main computing system, which is the Galaxy Tab A 8 inch, I believe. Yeah, 8 inch. Then down, like that, that's it. Don't use Type C. Okay, there must be my watch soldier. I also keep my Galaxy watch soldier in here, but it's kind of in the bedroom. Keep a few pamphlets about Boost and my company that I go through for internet. Someone's phone. Yeah, that wasn't mine. Um, I keep a to-do list for no reason. I keep a couple of Double A and triple A batteries in my bag. Um, a couple GoPro mounts for a GoPro I had. I'm so funny, that's I think that's all things I had. Except for a few pens and screwdrivers, yeah. Alright, so to actually get into the specifications of my Samsung 
this is what I call my Samsung uh, teardown bag. This fast charge will wait to use a 9 volt. Um, I believe it is a quick charge. Uh, the watts, on your hand, is a f uh, 42 millimeter in midnight black. Uh, it's got that rotating bezel. Um, it's not the, it's the LTE model, but I don't use the LTE because, well, Boost, I didn't know until I got it. Boost doesn't have data point support. So, I might exchange it for a Bluetooth, I don't know yet. Um, I keep the Ward's 42mm band on it because... Instead go for the 46, which is a couple, like, $300, I believe. Uh, I just went for this and a big old band. Onto my tablet, which really don't work right now because, well, some scumbags stole my hotspot. And my phone, Fire Boost, only has 10 gigs of hotspot. And it's... This is the, anyway, this is the 8 inch failure, um, if it's in you, unlike most things of Apple, it has the headphone sack. <clears throat> Apple. Um, speak of which, if anybody sees a Space Gray iPhone 8 that's locked in the Peoria area, that'd be mine. My dad, uh, somebody stole it from us. So this is, back to this, this is a 32 gig, uh, filling up mall with 2 gigs of RAM, um, it's the, that's the Wi-Fi edition, um, there's really not much things on it, such my home screen, uh, we keep this so, this is actually connected to the TOI server, so, um, that's what that's for. We also use the keyboard with this, so, yeah, that's for. Clock in, nope. Don't want me clocking. Um, being up in the apartment, we don't have Wi-Fi until we get a hotspot in the few, next few days. So, we'll actually just suit it off our phones. This would be a good alternative for... If you had Wi-Fi, it would be a good alternative for um, school. Um, you know, late night reading. Um, It could be used as an ebook. It could be used as a main um, well, it's just the main uh, I really can't say computer, but you guys get the point. Um, it's good for email, surfing the web. Facebook's worked really well with it. Tubi, I've watched a few movies on it. The scent, okay, so the case is a poetic rubber bumper case. Oh, oh my gosh. The case, the which I bought the case was, well, we have horrible luck at, here at TOI. Um, hopefully tomorrow we'll be getting a hot spot. And when we do get, we should be able to get more videos out. Um, the iPad back here is, I really don't use it. I've never, well, I've put it on with it a few day, times. It's a 16 gig model, um, silver LTE uh, model. That's still working. And it works. My, again, my Galaxy Buds, I'm 
yeah, these are just the, these are the plus, so the, basically the pro version. And this actually handles pretty well, feel nice in the hand, doesn't it? I'm trying to think. Wait, like my phone. Which is what I'm sitting off of. It's a Galaxy S12 with A20 with a uh, 6.4 inch display. Um, it's got the Affinity display on it. Uh, I think he's at the library. Um, I don't remember the camera pixels. I'll have it in the next video, which should hopefully be out sometime today. And this little twink I've been messing around with, people say it's Mickey Mouse hands dropping marijuana. It's um Mickey Mouse hands with green uh green dust. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. And that's what Google says it is. So, anyway, Tech Lab Industry out, and get you on the next one.